Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so about an hour ago, I received the OTA update for Android 4.2 for the Google Nexus 7 and even though it's 4.2, it's still called Jelly Bean and it's supposedly just some minor updates because I haven't really noticed anything major and I haven't really read upon too much about Android 4.2 so I don't really know too many of the new features um, but a couple of the new features that I noticed was um, the new lock screen which I'll show you in a second and also the gesture keyboard I think is what they call it which is a swipe like keyboard if you know what swipe is and they also revamped the notification tray and also included a new feature for users for so adding multiple users um, so let's just get right into this and I'll show you guys those so right from the start you can see that the lock screen is different uh, the clock uh, has the hour has been bolded on the clock I'm not really sure why they felt the need to do that but they did it nonetheless and if you swipe to the left you can see that there are now widgets on the on the lock screen so here you can see uh, my calendar widget and I have no upcoming events so and if you swipe one more time to the left you can click this and add more widgets these are just the widgets that are available initially I'm not really sure if Google is going to add more widgets to be able to be put on the lock screen or if Google is going to let applications uh, customize their widgets to be able to put on the lock screen. But so th these are the ones you have right from the start. So if we just go ahead and add one of them, so let's just add another clock. So now you have two clocks. And just the way to get rid of it is the same way you get rid of the, or any other widget on your normal home screen. So just press and hold it and just swipe it up until it's red and it's gone. But other than that, everything else seems to be the same on the lock screen. So you can still lock it, unlock, and you can also get to Google Now from the lock screen. So that hasn't changed. So if we unlock it, uh, another small thing I noticed right from the start was that the quick uh, launch applications... Um, they seem to have gotten smaller. That's another thing. I'm not really sure why Google decided to do that, but it's there. So I guess it's just something you have to get used to, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So the next feature that I noticed was the new keyboard. So if we just go to Google. So if you want to type, instead of having to click every single uh, button, all you got to do is just swipe. So, without uh, letting go of the button, and I'll type it for you. So, let's just try Google. So, and that's how it works. And if you're familiar at all with Swipe, uh, which is available on um, older Android devices, I'm not sure if they're, avail they're still available on new ones. But I have a HTC Evo 4G and that's running Android 2.3, and that has Swipe. Um, it's not something I'm too familiar with just because I don't really prefer that type of keyboard and I feel like I type just as fast uh, the, the normal way than just uh, dragging my finger but that's all uh, user preference so that's nice uh, that they did that and I didn't see, really see myself messing up too much even though I'm not letting go of the keyboard and it does a good job of uh, predicting what word you're trying to type out. And another feature is, if you go, we go back to the home screen, um, before, if you swipe down from the middle of the top of the tablet, you'll get the notification tray, as you can see here. And there'll also be the orientation lock and also a button uh, to go to the, sweat, the settings. And as you can see, they're gone. And the reason for that is if, if you swipe down from the right, you can see the new uh, quick settings, I think it's called or at least that's what I call it. And from here, you can uh, see who you're logged in as. So I'm logged in as A1L Tech. Um, and you can see the Wi-Fi you're connected to if you want to enable airplane mode, uh, your lock or uh, your orientation lock, your settings, and your Bluetooth. And you can also see your battery meter, which I really like because I found myself before um, having to drag down and then go into the settings just to see uh, the percentage of battery I have left. So that's really cool that they decided to do that. Um, so, but other than that, I mean, it works like it's supposed to. Your settings, um, 
your brightness. So, so then that leads me to my last and final feature of this tablet is uh, the new users. So this is my current user right here. So if you want to make a new user, and I believe it's some, this is only available if you have tablets. Um, so if you go to settings and then users, here you can see your current user that you're logged in on, I guess. And from here you can edit some settings. You can add phone number, your address, whatever, your name. And to add a user, all you gotta do is click this add user and then click okay. And then set up now. So then that's what that's gonna do is uh, you can see the two icons are right here. This is how you will log on. And as you can see, the background will change to just to show you that it's a different user. So if we unlock it, you can see that it's the same setup guide as when you initially set up your Nexus 7. So if we just go through here, click no, not now, sure. Just put in a name, so. One important thing to note is is completely separate from your other account. So what that what I mean by that is um, no application that you have installed on the other account will be carried onto this account. Um, all your settings and everything are still affected, I believe. Um, any major settings that affect the whole tablet as a whole is uh, is still there, but all your personal settings are not affected at all by any of the other users. So of course, to get full use out of this, it, you have to have a Google, a Gmail account. But let me show you guys how to switch uh, in between. So if you click on here again, you can see you can switch in between users. So pretty easy. Um, I don't believe there's any like password protection. So if that bothers you, I guess it doesn't for me. But so if we go back to the owner. And here you can just delete your user. So, and for the most part, guys, I think that's about all that I've seen, or at least I've noticed. But I'm sure there's many more. And if uh, if any of you guys have seen any other features that I might have, I may have missed, or um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And if you liked anything about this video, go ahead and hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. So until next time guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.